I realized that in this world, we can only function with a physical body. However, we also have a spiritual form that is just as real as our physical form. This is an excerpt from the page 61 of Body, Soul and Spirit from Sharon Williams' God's Whisper, Always Near. Hello, my fellow bookish friends. You know, I've got another recommendation for you today from the end of Sharon William. And I just finished reading a tie to one of our books, actually. She has got so many books out there that I found to be quite lovely while I read through it. You know, it's more like a Christian literature. Um, there's so many biblical references in the book that I love wholeheartedly. And reading it to me, it's actually very correctional. You know, when I read it, one of the things that I learned when I read the book is the fact that it challenges me, it corrects me, it instructs me. It's, you know, it's more like you having a mirror and you are standing in front of a mirror and you are seeing a reflection in there. So in the book, there are so many chapters that allows you to reflect, to think, to ponder again and to observe your life, observe yourself, observe your work with God, observe your relationship with Christ and do away from evil and all of that. So there's so many chapters in here that I find to be quite awesome. There's so many chapters in here that are quite very lovely, expounding on the themes of, you know, bringing up a child in a way that I should go, child training in a godly way. You know, expounding on the themes of how we human beings, you know, have made this world that we have currently in uninhabitable for ourselves. I mean, the wickedness you see in the world today is as a result of one man's wickedness towards another person. And that if you desire to live in a world that is free of evil, free of vices, free of wickedness, free of human annihilation towards one another, then we all have to come together to cooperate together all and needs to be on deck towards making it a reality and you and i have a part to play you and i have a role to play towards making a world a place worth living in because currently there's so many evils and difficulties and challenges and troubles and problems that we've experienced in the world today and all of this can be traced back to human wickedness towards another, I mean, how another man would just look at his fellow human and start enacting wickedness, you know, without any fear of God, with no conscience whatsoever, with no afterthought of what would be the likely repercussion of the action. So, all of these things is what Sharon William mentioned in one of the, you know, introductory chapters in our book I find to be quite lovely and very beautiful to me and yeah there are some incorporation of some biblical verses that I find to be quite alluring to I mean one of my favorite uh, biblical verses I might not recite it the way it is written particularly it's and the side 55 verse 11 that says that so shall my word be that has gone out of my mouth it will not return unto me void but it will accomplish that which I sent it, and it shall succeed in the things that I have sent it. Now this shows the efficacy in our song, the power in the spoken word, the power of prayer as well. And you know, I love this verse so much. I was kind of intrigued when I see that Sharon Williams utilized it in our book, because this is one of the things that give me the efficacy, the faith, the hope, and the assurance of answered prayer whenever I say prayer, because I'm like, yeah, so shall my word be everything I speak out of my tongue, you know, with the backup of the name of Jesus, would surely come to reality. It will not return unto me void. I mean, I will not say all of these things in vain. My prayers will not go in vain, but it shall prosper in the place where I sent it. I think this is like King James Version. We have NIV, New International Version. But it shall prosper in the place, in the things where I sent it. And, you know, it shows that whatsoever you speak, if you send the word, take for instance, if you speak the word and you send the word to a sick body, it will surely come alive. If you send the word to a dying business, it will surely come alive. If you send the word to a family disintegrating, a family turning apart, it will rejuvenate it. 
if you send the world to marriage crushing it will make it to come up so well i can go on and on and on and on because this is one of the important things that i love wholeheartedly when it comes to the power of the spoken word when it comes to the efficacy that we have in our works in prayer the faith and the, the faith alongside and so many other things encapsulated in this book that really to me made for an interesting a lovely a beautiful an amazing discussion really and i can actually go on and on and on there were other chapters that talk about god protect his children and in here um sharon made examples to our uh, personal life stories and this is not just one examples we have other examples she talked about how uh, god saved her from an accident she talked about a uh, dream experiences to a uh, dream a teleportation dream experience and so many other things you know encapsulated in it and i think this is one of the future that made god's whispers all looks near read in a very beautiful and lovely manner because alongside the author talk stories alongside she explained a take she gave us a high ideas of the topics she's talking about for the point she back up our words with personal life stories and experiences and some other point she just you know open the pages of the scripture to us interpret it to us in an amazing lovely beautiful description and you are made to just sit down think ponder on these words you know reflect on it you know you know it's something that you have to keep moving long after you read it if you're a lover of work if you're a lover of literature that you read and you keep moving over long after you've read it then i'm pretty sure you're gonna love god's response all looks near it's quite very lovely very beautiful to me and it's the type that got me out onto my chair the type that had me captive onto the last book has been read. So there are other subject lines and headings and subtitles that talk about so many other themes. We have one I would love to mention again, even though I attempt to keep my review a spoiler free type, is an amazing word. In here, Sharon talked about how God has made the world so easy for us. I mean, human can fall sick and there's a plant that can heal or cure ease or sickness. God has really made the world an amazing place for us. I mean, talk about the solar system, talk about the moon, talk about the sun, talk about how we can be sick. And there is a plant, there is a root, there is a, you know, soil organism that can cure those sicknesses. So there's a balance between the nature that we really need to appreciate God for in Sharon's words, you know. Because I myself have pondered about it in time past of how you, know, you can have an headache or you can have fever and you know here in africa in nigeria particularly there's a, there's a way to make apps from the back of trees yeah that cures say fever that cures malaria that cures typhoid there are leaves that cure typhoid there are you know so many things i can talk about the ones that i know i know about unripe purple soaked inside water i know about bitter leaves scrubbed and you can take the water for cure certain illness or if taking a lot can also damage some organ in the body so there's need for balance there is the solution to our problem to our sicknesses that god has made available to the plant in the bush to the root of the trees etc and even the conventional medicine the modern day medicine that we have most of them are, are made from you know plant they are made from so many natural apps and all of that you know come to think of it our ginger can cure certain illness our garlic can cure certain illness and so many on and on and on and on and on then we also offer the other subject all the subtitles in the name of looking to god for change the name of your children before you were born the holy spirit reflection angels importance of the name life's difficulties storms that calm balance self spirit conquer your fears doubt and fear and so many others that happens to be my favorite chapters in the book well i attempt to keep my review spoiler free but then there's another session of the book that i found to be quite lovely and that's the session about listening to the holy spirit and this actually shows how sharon expand and illustrates to us that holy spirit is a great teacher is a counselor an advisor and sometimes we just need to listen to it that subtle voice that tells us to do the right in place of the wrong you know to that subtle spirit that tells us that guides us to go in the moral way and sometimes you know i love the fact that sharon also mentioned that sometimes we human beings are 
falling in place with mixed acts step in life because we had failed to listen to that spirit speaking to us we have failed to you know consider the weight of that holy spirit whispering to us to do the right thing but instead we are more prone we are more liable to do that which is extremely wrong and this alongside also speaks to me in volume because i love the fact that the author mentioned that you know you must have realized in in the past in your life that you took a step that was wrong and even when you had a soft spirit telling you that you should do otherwise but you just feel like yeah this is the thing i want to do the evil one the, the wrong thing is what i want to do so this alongside with the subject of the body soul and spirit i need to say that i particularly love how sharon incorporated the subject into this book i love the way she talked about the inter the interconnection between the extra component of the human body i love the way she talked about the similarities the differences and the function that one have over another you know she talked about the body which is what we have exposed to the physical self and how most people are being totally concerned about what they can see alone i mean it's fine it's good to take care of the physical body very good we need it for our physical health but how about the spirit self how about our soul how about our inner spirit being they are also very much important like our body is important you know but just that some people are actually are more consigned are much you know interested in what they can see with their physical eyes what they can touch with their physical end what they can felt with their physical sense of organ and they tend to neglect that which is unseen that which you cannot see with your physical eyes that which you cannot touch with a physical end you know people tend to prioritize physical what the eye can feed on over that which is unseen and just like i mentioned in my excerpt that i realized that in the in this world we can only function with a physical body however we also have this spiritual form that is just as real as important as necessary as crucial as our physical form so you know there's this interconnection between which is good which is greater out of the spirit the body and the soul and just as we have this physical body which is exposed to the physical life to what we can see in here dwells the soul that controls our thought our emotion our mindset uh you know so many things that comes out of our mind you know the soul also encompasses like an entity also that contains the spirit so in our body dwells our soul and spirit and in the soul dwells our spirit so our spirit is the most innermost core of our body components from the spirit to the soul to the body and as much care that we give to our physical body is necessary that we give same care spiritual care i mean to our spirit being too because apart from this book i'm a long time lover of spirituality i'm a long time lover of philosophy and I'm, it's reflecting my writing and i love exploring on this subject the spirit the soul the body because i kind of think that to me actually i kind of think that the physical being controls the physical i mean the the life of a man and the spirit is a reflection of what he is and physical so in as much as the physical is very important and that it sounds so real to us majority or most people or let me just put it as some people are still delusional on how important the spirit being is most people do not really take it very serious they just keep living about their day life preoccupied with so busyness this and that and and they are shy away or not taking too much attention and care towards taking care, care of their spiritual being which is as much important as a physical self so i can actually go on and on and on and on and on but i wouldn't love to give much away in my attempt to keep my review spoiler free there's so many other things to talk about in sharon williams god's whispers always near that really speaks to me in volume that taught me quite a lot that you know kind of very correctional that's quite beautiful to me that i can go on and on and on reading and this is actually an amazing literature work to me it reads like a literature summer it looks as if i'm somewhere receiving words of morals powerful words words that are quite very didactic quite illustrative quite correctional and quite very pulling 
causing you to examine yourself and like i mentioned more like a mirror standing in front of you and you're looking at your reflection you're looking at your nakedness you're looking at the reflection you're looking at your being you're looking at your lifestyle you're looking at the things you've done right and the things you've done wrong and there's cause for correction there is cause for self-reflection there's cause for having to think again and again and I can actually go on and on and on and I'm looking forward to exploring more of Sean Williams writing and yeah getting to know more about our work so this is actually very lovely to me very lovely quite amazing quite beautiful and if you watch this video to this point and you would love to get a copy of Sharon William got whispers or looks near I left a link in the description part of this review where you can get a copy directly on amazon so thank you so much for watching please and be able to like the video leave a comment in the comment section share with your families and friends and people that you think would love to you know watch this video and we are currently very close to 11,000 subscribers if you've not subscribed yet i want to urge you to, to please click on the subscribe button over there don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified anytime i release new videos yeah thank you very much for watching my short video book recommendation of Sharon Williams got whispers all looks near. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Goodbye.